morning YouTube and welcome to my channel Jules Craft Room and today it's another unboxing of the Crochet Society box 26 and um, this was due the beginning of this month um, but it was delayed so that's why it's rather late but um, yes here's box 26 and isn't it pretty all sort of um, summery flowers so um, we'll see what's inside. I haven't opened it yet. So uh, I thought I'd let you join me. So I'll just turn you round and we'll carry on. Right, as you can see, it's in a lovely box and um, we're just gonna unclip it. And it's in this lovely uh, peachy colored tissue paper. And I always try and take these off very carefully so that I can use the tissue paper for wrapping presents and things like that. So here we are. Wow. So what have we got here? So what is this? This looks like somewhere to keep your hooks. Well, I've never seen that before. Let's see if I've got some. Um, oh, it comes with a hook. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It matches the box. So let's see. And that goes in like that. Or I suppose you could put it like that so that you... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look and see. But yeah. Oh, very nice. It's different. Then you've got this lovely DK Kaleidoscope. Um, yarn. So I'm not sure what I'm going to make with these. We've got two balls of these, so that's 100 grams each. So that's 200 grams of this DK Kaleidoscope yarn. And that looks very pretty. Um, what else have we got? We've got a um, stitch marker. That's a little flower. Um, we've also got a little, um, what's this, hook size. So it tells you a conversion kit of the different hook sizes. I don't know if you can see that very well. And this one is, it's like a little ruler, L-shaped ruler. It's unusual. So it's got centimetres this way and inches this way. And that's on this little ring thing. That's unusual. Then here we've got, ah, so I presume this is to stick on your handy hook storage. So you know where which sizes are in which compartment. So that looks good. So I'll have to have a go at doing that. And then, of course, we've got the book. And you can see there's some sort of shawl here, which is obviously made out of the yarn that comes with it. So inside you've got the index. You've got the shawl. Uh, my only concern is that um, how big the shawl will be. Because the last one I made... Um, wasn't really big enough so we shall see I'll have to read it and see how big it is it might give a size yes it does 180 centimeters by 65 centimeters after blocking so yes and there you are that's showing the R so it's you store it like this flat down like this and then put them in and I presume we stick the sizes on the side somewhere. Very nice. So there you are. That's all the different colours you can get in that yarn. The cot cotton candy is lovely. Oh, they do a blanket. I might do the blanket. I might do the blanket. I'll see. It's not really the right colours. Um, I've got a new granddaughter coming, arriving in December. 
those not really the right colors but i like the pattern with the hearts excuse the dogs someone's come in the door and they're all getting worried so there's some um i don't know what that is it's just a baby blanket that you could make with this stitch and i suppose you can get bigger and bigger uh, design your own pattern and then there's talking about the magazines and books that you can get and there's a hat and some mittens well sort of hand warmers they don't cover the tips of your fingers uh, there's the hat pattern and there's some things that people are made for. I've done that one before and I did do a video about it. I lined mine. And there's uh, the box of next month's, which looks very pink and catty. So yeah, so there we are. So very pretty. Not sure what I'll make, um, but uh, that'll be in another video what I decide. But um, Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching the unboxing and seeing what's in box 26. Bye for now.